with more and more critical applications being run on cloud, providing highly available services has become increasingly important. This is because even a short downtime of these applications or degradation of user experience can cause significant losses for the organizations both in monetary terms and user trust. Thus, having the ability to monitor the health of vital cloud resources is crucial for the organization's success. In this video, I will show how to configure and use Cloud Monitoring's Uptime Check to monitor our VM instance. To start with, let's understand what Uptime Checks are. The Uptime Check is a simple yet powerful observability tool to track resource availability on an ongoing basis and detect any issues. Uptime Checks send requests to public and private endpoints at regular intervals and record whether the HTTP or TCP request succeeds or fails. Uptime Checks with an alerting policy can detect availability and latency issues with a resource, notify in a timely manner, and thereby reduce the impact caused by an outage. An uptime check consists of two components. Number one, uptime check configuration, created by you to schedule periodic requests from Google Cloud regions to the targeted resource. For example, you can configure an uptime check to send HTTPS queries to your application and then create an alerting policy to monitor the uptime check results so that you are notified if your application fails to respond. Second, the request execution system provided by Google Cloud that manages the following execution of configured checks, validation of results, and writing results to uptime check metrics. Cloud monitoring offers two types of uptime checks. Number one, public uptime checks. This type of uptime checks issues requests from multiple locations throughout the world to publicly available URLs or Google Cloud resources. Public uptime checks can determine the availability of monitored resources such as VM instance, App Engine application, Kubernetes service, Cloud Run revision, Amazon Elastic Load Balancer, and many more. Second, private uptime checks. These checks issue requests to internal IP addresses or private endpoints of different resources. For example, with private uptime checks, you can send requests over the private network to resources like a virtual machine or a L4 internal load balancer. Today, I will show you how to create an uptime check to test a public endpoint. Before creating an uptime check, ensure you have following prerequisites. Number one, required permissions. To create or manage uptime checks using Google Cloud Console, your IAM role must include monitoring editor. To configure and manage uptime checks using API, your IAM role must include monitoring uptime checks configuration editor, monitoring alert policy editor, and monitoring notification channel editor. Second, verify the resource you want to check has a public endpoint or behind a configurable firewall. Third, verify and configure notification channels you want to use to receive alerts. All right, let's dive into a demo and learn how to create an uptime check to test public endpoint by using Google Cloud Console. First, go to uptime checks under monitoring Click Create Uptime Check. Select the protocol. We can choose HTTP, HTTPS, or TCP. Next, select the resource type that needs to be monitored. Here you can choose different type of resources. In our example, we will select instance. You can select a single instance or a group of instances defined as a monitoring group. Then, select the instance to monitor. This is our dynamic field and changes with respect to resource type. Next, select the frequency for uptime checks executions. We will keep it as default, that is one minute. Optionally, if you want to configure options for regions, ICMP pings, port number or other fields, click on more target options. Click continue to configure response validation options. The response timeout lets you specify how long to wait for a request to complete. Default is set to 10 seconds, which we will be using in our demo. Next, if you want to configure uptime check to perform content matching, ensure that content matching toggle is enabled. Here, you can select response content match type. This field determines how the response content is compared to the return data. In the next field, enter the response content. This must be a string no longer than 1024 bytes. For this demo, we will keep content matching disabled. Checkmark log check failure checkbox if you want uptime failures save to logging. Next, select acceptable HTTP response code for HTTP uptime checks. Here, it can be classified by code classes specific codes or any response codes. Click on continue to configure alert and notification. While the uptime checks collects the data about availability of VM instance, 
you must create an alerting policy to be notified. Remember, alerting and uptime checks are integrated. So most fields in the alerting policy are already pre-configured for you. All you need to do is enter the name of alert and set the notification channel. Next, select how long the uptime checks must fail before notifications are sent. Default value is 1 minute and we will keep it the same. Click continue to review summary of configured options. On the review page, verify all the fields are set as desired from the summary on the right pane. Next, enter a name for the uptime check. Optionally, on the next field, user defined labels for uptime check can be added. To verify your uptime check configurations, click on test. Google recommends testing your uptime check configuration before creating. Finally, click create. Awesome, the uptime check has been created. To learn more about uptime checks, check out this documentations.